Hi guys, this video I'll be talking about uh, Spanetry protocol path selection using uh, the cost and the the port priority. So in part one, I'll use the uh, the cost to uh, to enforce the the root port selection, and in part two, I'll use the uh, Spanetry port priority to just enforce the uh, the root port selection. So. Um, Initially, just uh, talking about the topology and the uh, the pre-config. So we just have uh, four switches: switch one, two, three, four, and um, just have static trunks between the four switches and uh, the three VLANs: 10, 20, 30. So just to show you what we have. So we just have uh, all ports are trunking um, and the VLANs we have uh, just four VLANs. One is the default and 10, 20, 30. So probably just be, just will be showing you with VLAN 10, but we do have 20 and 30 as well. So um, looking back at the topology, so what we want to do here is uh, on switch four, uh, let's just analyze first uh, what is happening with Spanetry protocol and uh, the current path that is uh, is basically being used for all the VLAN traffic, and then how we can change that using the uh, the cost attribute of Spanetry protocol, and uh, and then part two I'll move on to the port priority. So let's just start with the uh, with the cost first, but just seeing what's happening on switch four. So let's have a look. So let's just have a look for VLAN 10, and same thing will be happening happening for all the other VLANs as well. So at the moment, Ethernet 00 is a root port, and all the others are blocking. So looking back at the topology, so Ethernet 00 is a root port facing switch 2, and all the others are blocking. So, uh, as I mentioned in my, I mean, my last video on uh, Spanish protocol, the root bridge election had a very detailed explanation on how uh, Spanish protocol works and how all these uh, uh, ports are basically selected as root ports, designated ports, and uh, which ports are elected as uh, are put in uh, blocking state. So. Uh, so what we're going to do here is that basically at the moment all the VLAN traffic will be taking this path while switch 2 to switch 1 and we want to change the path from switch 3 to switch 1 so uh, Ethernet 00 is a root port at the moment so you want to basically use uh, let's say Ethernet 02 as a root port and uh, so that the VLAN traffic will go by switch 3 to the root port switch 1 so we can do that, we can increase the cost of, uh, of these two ports and we can decrease, reduce the cost of uh, these two ports uh, hence enforcing that uh, either 0 to 0 02 will be elected as a root port and uh, 0 03 will be elected as the, uh, will still be in the, the blocking state but it will still be preferred over Ethernet 00 and 01 depending on the cost. So let's just start with that, so switch 4 We'll be changing the cost. So initially, let's just reduce the cost on uh, Ethernet 00 and 01. So spanning tree, and we'll do that for all the VLANs. 1001 cost. I mean, we can see that the cost is ranging from one to uh, a very high number here, so we have two and I think nine zeros. So, uh, but I think cost in this case, one thousand should be enough. And then, just do it changing. So now we're going to basically reduce the cost for Ethernet zero two and zero three. So. Uh, Let's just change the cost to one for that. 
So let's see what's happening now. Well, there we are. So uh, initially we had Ethernet 00, 0 as a root port facing switch 2, and all the others were in blocking state. Now we have Ethernet 02, which is facing switch 3 as a root port, and all the others are in blocking state. So what we've done is now the traffic of all the VLANs will be basically going via switch 3 to the root bridge, whereas before it was going via switch 2 uh, to switch 1, the root bridge. So, uh, so guys, that's pretty much it for the, uh, for the part 1 of this video. Um, part 2, I'll just quickly talk about the, uh, the port priority and how we can use that to enforce the, uh, the root port election. So, uh, Right guys, so in part two now, um, I just uh, reverted back the config to default, so I have removed the uh, the cost that I added on switch four. So we just have the the default now. So switch four, all the VLAN traffic is going via switch two to switch one, and uh, the root port is Ethernet zero zero. So let's just have a look again on switch four. Right, so we have Ethernet 00 as a root port, and uh, all the others are in blocking state. So uh, this is a root port. So what we're going to do using the port priority is to have Ethernet 01 as a root port as opposed to Ethernet 00. So the VLAN traffic will still be going via switch 2, but the root port will just be Ethernet 01 as opposed to Ethernet 00. Um, why, why can't we use, uh, why can't we change the path? of the traffic, VLAN traffic while switch 3 using port priority. Uh, it's just the, the way the uh, um, the span entry protocol works. Uh, the first thing it looks at is the is the port cost, uh, the, the cost, accumulated cost to the root bridge. So in this case the, the cost will be the same while switch 2 and while switch 3. So we'll have 100 plus 100, 200 and same as 100 plus 100, 200 watch 50 as well. But then the second thing it looks at is the designated bridge ID. So uh, switch two will win as opposed to switch three. So uh, and then the thirdly it looks at the port priority. So uh, in the second, uh, the second uh, it looks at the uh, the port uh, the designated bridge ID. Um, the switch two will always win. So. Uh, we can uh, use the port cost to to change the the path of the traffic, but uh, in this case, port priority we can't actually change the path. We can change the ports. Both are facing uh, switch two, so the the cost accumulated cost is 200 to reach the root bridge. The uh, the designated bridge ID will be switch two, so i.e. the same for both Ethernet 00 and 01. And the third thing is going to look at is the port priority of Ethernet 00 and 01. So at the moment, the port priority for Ethernet 00 um, will be less than that of Ethernet 01. 128.1 for Ethernet 00, 128.2 for Ethernet 01. So hence why the root port is uh, elected as uh, Ethernet 00 is elected as root port. So, but one, one thing to consider for the uh, the root uh, Spanish port priority is uh, you can't, it's not done locally, so it's done on the upstream um, switch. So in this case, we'll do that on switch 2 to, to change the root priority. So we'll change the root priority on the, the ports uh, for on switch 2, and then it's going to affect the, the downstream neighbor, i.e. switch 4. So uh, if you were to change it on switch 4, it's going to affect uh, switch 3, the downstream, uh, uh, the up, well in this case switch 3 will be upstream, so we can only change it for the for the downstream neighbor. So uh, switch 3 we can change it for switch 4, and switch 2 we can change it for switch, switch 4, switch 2 we can change it for switch 4. And uh, so in this case we'll have to manipulate the uh, the port priority uh, 
uh, on switch 4 by doing it on switch 2 so uh, let's start with uh, with that So what do we have here for VLAN 10? So we have Ethernet 0001 facing the root bridge switch 1 and we have Ethernet 02 and 03 uh, facing switch 4. So if you just use show CDP neighbor to work out the connections, we can see that uh, 02 and 03 are connected to switch 4. Uh, and Ethernet 03 is connected to switch to uh, port Ethernet 01 on the on switch 4. So this is the port that we want to elect as the the root port. So um, so let's just do that now. So it's going to be Ethernet 02 03. Sorry. And uh, we'll do it for all the VLANs. One, two, one thousand one. Port priority. So what do we have? We have zero to one nine two increments of sixty four. Um, I mean, some iOS versions allow you increments of sixteen, but this iOS version that I've got on this uh, this router at the moment, this virtual router, is uh, allows allows me of sixty increment of sixty four. So we just use a priority of zero. And that's that. So let's have a look. What have we done? Right, so Ethernet 03, we've changed the priority to 0. So the port ID now becomes 0 0.4. Um, so the uh, Ethernet 03, which is connected to Ethernet 01 of switch 4. So uh, let's see how that's affected. The root port election on switch 4. Right, so we have achieved what we wanted. We wanted uh, Ethernet 01 to become the root port. Uh, before we had uh, Ethernet 00 as a root port, so now we've got Ethernet 01 as a root port. We've uh, we used port priority on the upstream neighbor, i.e., switch 2, to, uh, to achieve that. So right here, and uh, we basically now have Ethernet 01 as a root port. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I've shown you guys how to use the the spanning tree cost and the port priority feature to to manipulate the root bridge uh, root port selection. Uh, with the cost, we change the path uh, from switch four for all the VLAN traffic. Uh, we change it to switch three to switch one. As uh, whereas before we had from switch two to switch one, and um, and then for the port priority, uh, the root port was uh, Ethernet zero zero on switch four, and uh, using the port priority on switch two, we changed it to Ethernet zero one. So um, uh, yeah, till next time, guys. Any questions, comments, post them below, and I'll answer as many as I can. And uh, thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.